High Greedy 3D is. Now, if you're of a certain age group, and I am, you may remember the Jason and the Argonauts film that scared the bejivers out of you. Well, I remember it, and I remember the Medusa from there. This is the Ray Harry Horson Medusa, as you can see here. And I've been given a commission to make one of these. So today I'm going to show you the, the process of how I've painted old Medusa here. Um, difficult to paint her because you can't actually look into her face because you know what happens if you do that. So hope you enjoy the process here. Don't forget to subscribe to Greedy 3D. And uh, if you need to buy any bits or pieces, don't forget, check the item description where you can get a link for them there to buy some Amazon affiliate stuff and a little bit comes back to the channel. Hope you enjoy what you see today. Leave a comment, leave a like, uh, share, spread, tell me what you think and uh, stay tuned for the making of Medusa. So Medusa's been printed on my Anycubic Mono X and as you can see it's done a great job. There was no print failures, it all fit onto the build plate in one go and the quality and the texture is absolutely astounding. So I've given it a base layer of this colour green from the Army Painter and as you can see that's a really good base layer of green. Now that's not the end of it by a long shot. What we're going to be doing is giving it a few dry brushes and also some washes but as a base layer for Medusa you can't go far wrong with this colour. The tail itself has had a base layer of this brown but then I'm going to use the Bug Brer Brown on a dry brush to uh, highlight some of the areas on it. Um, now highlighting and, or dry brushing is probably one of the better techniques you can learn and it really does just highlight the outer edges and leave the inner edges dark. If you've never done dry brushing as you can see that I'm just using a makeup brush, uh, paint on the brush, get it all off and then dry brush it all the way across and it will really bring your figures to life. A dark colour to start with followed by a light colour. Now I've just moved on to, to skeleton bone here just to bring that colour up. Now don't worry if you think that looks too light because we're going to darken it up next with one of these. This is a wash from the Army Painter. It's the Strong Tone Wash and you can see straight away when I put that wash on this is where the magic is starting to happen and the colour of those scales absolutely comes to life. These washes, awesome, awesome bits of kit. So I'm going to put a link here to where you can get the washes, but look in the item description and you can buy them from my Amazon affiliate link there. Definitely recommend you get some. Back to Exile Green now and we're going to do some more dry brushing and I'm going to go over Medusa's skin with that. And this will just give another layer of skin. It's not going to make a dramatic change. It's just going to give it another layer. We're going to build this skin in depths followed by this ionic blue. There is a hint of blue in her skin. So that's what we're doing here and I'm just going to give it um, another shade, if you will. And now the magic again begins. This is the green tone from the same Army Paint set and this is where the skin starts to come to life. You will see a dramatic transformation of the skin now. These washes, as I've said earlier, are absolutely imperative that you get some if you're going to be making stuff like this. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that skin just come into scaly life. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? Now make sure you give it a fair few layers of the green wash. One layer probably won't cut it, so just let it dry and then give it a few more layers and it really will bring the whole thing to life. Now I'm just going to take some of this orange and, and you thought I'd finish with the tail, well I haven't. I'm just going to give the outer layer a real gentle touch of orange. I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want it to add a certain shimmy and shine right on the top and just give it another colour to just add to the brown that's already inundated in the model. And just this hint of orange will do that really, really well. Um, a really small brush, one of the dry brushes from the Army Painter range, but uh, that's all we need there. Now mix in a couple of colours, a skin colour and a red colour and I'm going to go over Medusa's mouth. Now the Ray Harry Horse and figure of Medusa has a really, really blood red mouth and when I looked at that there I thought okay that doesn't look too bad but it's a little bit too red so I'm going to tone that down a little bit. Now for the eyes I'm using a dark green just to base layer the eyes and as you can see there, they've had a base layer of green in them. And once I've done that, I'm going to take a white paint and I'm going to give the teeth a quick uh, shimmering over, but I'm also going to paint the eyes in the whites of the eyes, leaving an outer green layer, as you can see. 
there we go that's not the eyes finished by a long shot and that's not the eyes finished either what i've done here though is just added some blue irises as you can see but that those lips still look really red and the eyes don't look finished so voila all I've done on this bit is added some really rosy pink to the bottom of the eyes. I've added some brown on the outer part of the lips. And as you can see, darken some of the flesh tones and the face is done. Now for the snakes, I'm using Orc Skin uh, Speed Paint and uh, I'm gonna just lather that all over the snakes. Now it's a little bit out of sequence because I haven't finished the face here, but that don't matter. You can see how I'm doing the snakes here. I'm just using that speed paint and I'm gonna blast it all over to give them a base layer. Now it's not the end color for the snakes. I'm gonna do a little bit more work on them and a bit of dry brushing work and, and I'm gonna do a bit of work on the mouths and the eyes, etc. But there you go. That's what it looks like with the base layer of green all over the snakes. And if you look at the original, the snakes are a, a whole myriad of colors, but we're not gonna to do too much like that. We're just gonna to stick to the green ones. Now what I've done here is a low brush, dry brush of lower green. I've painted the inside of the mouths red and I've dotted the eyes yellow and those are the snakes done. Here I'm just showing you that I've done the brown using leather brown on her strapping and the packet on the back. And then I'm just gonna dry brush that with a little bit of a skeleton bone. Nice yellow on the bow and then I've dry brushed brown over it and that will give you the look of wood and some nice tanned cotton for the, the string. And she is pretty much done and dusted.